Hi, my name is Sean Levine and I'm a short story writer. What I'd like to do is to share three tips with you that help me to keep writing. When I say to keep writing, I think there's two things. One is to start writing and the other is to keep writing when I'm in the middle of something and it becomes a bit overwhelming. And I think that's one of the reasons that I know with myself when I stop writing is the sense that it becomes too overwhelming. What I'd like to do is to write about trees and to, to just treat it kind of with an openness. So trees that you remember, things that you like about trees, anything that comes up around trees and just see, see what happens on the page. I really haven't planned this, so I don't know what I'm gonna write. I don't know what I'm gonna write, but I'm gonna trust that something's gonna come up. So let's go for five minutes. My grandmother had a loquat tree. When I say my grandmother, I mean my grandmother and my grandfather. They had a loquat tree just outside their kitchen window. We had a banana tree outside our garage door. When I was older, I worked on a farm with mango trees. What I'm thinking now is, what I was going to say is, that I can't remember the last time I picked anything straight from a tree and ate it. But the truth is that at the end of last summer, I discovered an olive grove not far from my house. And when I realized that no one was picking the olives, I went back with a couple of tote bags and picked 10 kilos of olives in different shades of green and purple. What was interesting, what happened is that I started in at some point and ended up in a, in a completely unexpected, a completely unexpected place for myself. And when I started writing, I'd completely, I didn't have those olive trees in mind at all. It was almost like the story knew where it wanted to go, but it knew before I did. And the second tip is not to stop. What I'd like to do is to, is to do five more minutes of writing. And to run with the story that I think might happen. And until we write something, we don't really know if that's the story that we want to follow. And in a way, you won't know until you start writing. You, know? you can kind of have all these ideas, but as soon as you start writing, something else can happen and you have to be open to that. So let's go for another five minutes. Pick a scene from the story that you, that's kind of started, started um, taking shape in your head and see what happens when you start writing. What's interesting in that process of kind of just letting go into writing is that for me, like real magic happens if we learn or we allow ourselves to just trust what's coming up and just follow the story that's emerging on the page and to trust that connection between the pen and the paper. One of the things that writing is about is kind of discovering something that you didn't know before you set out to write. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to follow Domestica on social media. And if you want to learn more about creative writing, check out my courses on Domestica.